Self-awareness is a superpower. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. This video is about the Black Moon Lilith. Before I get into the video, I just want to let you know that in the description box below, you can find a link that will take you to a site where you can do the calculations to find out exactly where Lilith is in your natal chart. And you can look out for the videos that will follow this one about the Black Moon Lilith. So Lilith, Black Moon Lilith is not actually a planet or a body, but it is a point in the sky that is created by the moon and the earth. Some of the early stories about Lilith that stand out to me is the biblical ones, the one that talks about how Lilith was actually Adam's first wife. Some people say that Genesis 1 talks about Adam and Lilith, and then Genesis 2 talks about when God created Eve instead. So basically the story says something like God created Adam and Lilith equally, both of dust. And Adam wanted Lily to submit Lilith to submit to him. Um, a lot of information say basically it's like sexually Adam wanted to be on top and felt like it was Lilith's place to be on the bottom. And Lilith disagreed with that. Lilith felt like they were equals. And because of that, Lilith ended up leaving the garden. What stands out to me the most about the Lilith story is the fact that Lilith was actually the victim here. She was the one who um, was mistreated and instead of um, instead of God or whoever was in charge, um, you know, coming to the both of them and help and being a mediator and working things out, she was made to feel like she was the villain even though she was the one who was mistreated. So with that being said, I can see wherever Lilith is in your chart, you might feel a sense of injustice when it comes to this placement in your chart. You might feel a sense of unfairness at some point in your life, wherever Lilith is in your chart. You know, you may feel like, okay, say for example, if Lilith is in Taurus in your chart, and you have um, challenges when it comes to stability and finances. You may feel like, you know, starting out in life, your parents didn't set you up properly, or maybe the educational system didn't prepare you for what you need to do in the world. So it's like, now you're looking at me to hand over all of my earnings when the system isn't set up fairly for me to even take care of myself in the first place. I like to tie in numerology to the story about Lilith and Adam, because um, to me, I think of the number 11, two number ones. Like in numerology, the number 11 is, as you know, cre is created by two number ones. And those two number ones both represent masculine energy. and because of that that masculine energy can create turbulence and at times and it's bringing the two same energy together to create the number two energy and i feel like that was lilith and adam bringing two number one energies together where instead now you know the number one energy is masculine it's dominant and it's direct and when i say masculine energy i'm often referring to energy that pretty much is forward moving. It's almost like being an extrovert, gaining energy from taking action, where the number two energy in numerology is feminine. It's magnetic, it's inward, and it's like being an introvert. This energy gains strength from going within, and you bring the one energy together and the number two energy together, and you create the child, which is the creative self-expression of the mother and the father. And to me, it seems like that's what God was trying to create when Eve was created from Adam's rib, because now Eve represents that number two energy, which is nurturing and it's submissive and it's caring and it's unifying 
And the number two in numerology also represents like people strongly associated with the number two. These people are your bridge builders and they like to pretty much support whatever it is that you're doing. They're nurturing. They like to bring things like basically nurture your dreams, your goals, your idea, or actually nurturing children. So yes, going back to Lilith, Lilith was Adam's equal to number one energies, both equally made of the same kind of dust. So Lilith wasn't having it when Adam was trying to tell her like, you know, it's your place to be on the bottom during sex. And if sex wasn't um, the only way that Adam was basically forcing his will on Lilith, it could be career-wise, it could be anything. I feel like the Adam and Lilith situation can even be found in men, where you have some men who are not as aggressive as others, who are not ha as dominant as others. And because of that, basically, they're oppressed or victimized. So I feel like the Lilith energy is an energy that can be found in all of us, where all of us has experienced um, suppression, where we suppress ourselves, or oppression where someone else is oppressing us. And I find that a lot of the times why we will suppress ourselves is, a, is fear of rejection or possibly being suppressed by others. So we we possibly being oppressed by others, so we suppress ourselves, we keep ourselves in the shadow, we keep ourselves quiet because we fear the consequences of standing out, stepping out, and being heard. For the simple fact that Lilith was oppressed by Adam, whenever I'm looking at a person's Lilith placement, what helps me to better understand that energy is by taking a look at the opposition. The opposition will help you to have a clearer and better understanding of why that energy, you know, where Lilith is, is expressing itself the way it is. Like say, for example, you have Lilith in Aries um, you want to take a look at Libra energy because the Libra energy is going to help you to understand why Lilith in Aries is expressing itself the way it is. That wherever Lilith is in your chart, it will show you basically, um, it's like parts of you that you cannot hide. It's like even if you try to hide it, it comes out. I feel like it shows a rebellious nature it shows where you are suppressed, where, where you suppress yourself, where you feel oppression. So I feel like because Lilith, Black Moon Lilith, is a point in the sky that is created by the earth and the moon. I think of the practicality and the physicality of the earth. And then I also think about the energies of the moon and how the moon can project. And so this leads me to the thought of wherever Lilith is in your chart, you might find that a lot of the times, based on certain experiences that you had growing up, you might project a reality into situations that aren't exactly what you're projecting. And then you convince yourself that, yes, this is so. Another example I'll give to you is, um, say, for example, having Lilith in Aquarius and because of this your freedom is everything for you you avoid anything that will take your freedom away and you avoid routines and just anything that'll cause you to feel suppressed so because that is a major thing for you um, say for example you might be introduced to a new group and within automatically within this new group you might start subconsciously looking for reasons why it's not a good idea to be a part of this group, looking for reasons why this group might try to suppress you or control you or even project past experiences onto this group, self-sabotage and quit the group and just avoid everybody on a whole because it's almost like you feel the need to protect yourself before whatever happens even happen when maybe that wasn't going to happen in the first place. So I feel like, yes, wherever Lilith is in your chart, pay attention to the fact that you might project your own fears, your own subconscious fears, 
and even past experiences onto this new situation. And then of course, you're gonna convince yourself that yes, yeah, see, I was right in the first place. I thought this was going to happen and boom, it happened. Also, wherever Lilith is in your chart, deep down, you are seeking some kind of equality when it comes to that aspect. And because of that, you feel vulnerable because it's almost like, it's like you're the black sheep, you're the problem, you are the reason why things can't be better when it comes to that aspect in your life wherever Lilith is. And even though um, this energy is, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? Like a lot of the times where Lilith is in our chart, it's like we try to suppress this part of ourselves, but we can't suppress it for long. It's almost like, like how Lilith is considered a demon. It's almost like a demon within us that always rears its ugly head. But I feel like, you know, being aware of this aspect will help you to take control of it and it no longer has to dominate your life. That's why my motto is self-awareness is a superpower. Because for me personally, being aware of my Lilith placement helps me to stop that ongoing, um, reoccurring situation that keeps happening in that aspect of my life, which negatively affects all of my life. And I'm not left thinking, okay, maybe something's wrong with me. Maybe I'm not good enough. Why this keeps happening? Becoming aware of it helps me to basically address it and come up with, you know, with a, a formula or steps or be more strategic in order to clear that blockage in my life. And a lot of the times, because I'm aware of it, whenever I feel, you know, myself being triggered, I'm able to suggest to myself that no, this isn't actually what's happening. My fears are actually creating a situation that feels real that isn't. You know, so now I'm able to stop myself from sabotaging what could possibly be a good thing due to that void, that point, you know, within myself, that dark shadow within myself that represents Black Moon Lilith. I'm not going to tell you where my Lilith is in this video. If you watch, um, well, if we share the same Lilith, then you'll find out. If not, I guess it doesn't matter. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the Lilith videos. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.